To start our ice cream scoops, I have a blank sheet of paper and a round tracer. And I'm just gonna make anywhere from five to six circles on my paper. This paper is a light pink, so if you have a colored paper, I would use it. If not, white is fine. The next step is to fill each of those circles with textures. A texture is what something feels like. In this case, I'm using crayons and I'll go around my house to find different interesting textures. When you have it, place it over. So here I have a table. Place your paper over and then rub in a straight line. Fill that whole space, trying not to move the paper. Here I found a pan that had like a hexagon pattern. Someone else is helping me hold the paper flat so that it doesn't move. That's what it looked like without the paper on top. I also found this tile in my bathroom. And so it's a little messy because I was doing it by myself. I didn't have a friend this time. But you can see, I still managed to get a texture of that tile. The more you fill in your circle, the better you'll see your texture. Another thing you can do is find some leaves. I'm using this multi-leaf, but you can use whatever you want. And when you go over it, you'll get a nice image. Go around, find textures. When you're done, cut all of those circles out. Time to assemble. Start with the cone. We all love them. I'm drawing a small curved line and then two diagonal lines that meet in a point. I'm adding detail. And in this case, it's kind of going to look like the texture of the cone. It's kind of rigid. It has ridges. Next up with crayon. I'm filling in the rest of my cone. I like using both markers and crayons because even though they're both brown, they look different against each other. With a black crayon, color half the cone just to give it some shading. It's time to glue all your scoops together. Pick one of your circles with textures, flip it over, and go around the edge of your circle. Then place it so that it's overlapping with the cone. Pick another one, glue around the edge, and add it to your ice cream cone. You can see I'm stacking them on top of each other, so they're gonna overlap a little bit. This one is going on top of the scoop already on it. This is gonna help us make it look realistic, like real ice cream, and it's also gonna help us save space so that we don't go too far over the paper. There's the last one. I'm just lifting it up to make sure that the top doesn't stick. It will dry and be fine. At this point, you have a couple options. You can either decide your ice cream looks delicious as is and be done with it, or you may be like me and want to add some details to your background. I'm going to use different colors and add some geometric shapes to my background. Either way, however you do it, I hope you had fun on your texture scavenger hunt and that you created the most delicious looking ice cream cone in the whole wide world. Have fun.